Hello guys, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you, uh, basically, d an explanation about optical zoom versus digital zoom. So this camera that I'm currently recording on right now, that you guys are seeing on the video, has optical zoom. And optical zoom is where, when you, it's basically the real deal of zoom. The lenses actually move, like, when you zoom in. And making it, when you zoom in, you actually blur the background when you zoom in. But with digital zoom, but with digital zoom, when you zoom in, it doesn't blur the background when you zoom in. So, basically, optical zoom is the real deal, and digital zoom is what you find on most smartphones, but it is not real. Like, not the real deal. So, as I already said, this camera has optical zoom, so when I zoom in, you should see the background getting blurred. So, I'm just going to start zooming in here. You see that? Already, you guys can tell. See that background right there? That background? Oh, there's my finger. See the background? It's blurred. If we zoom out just a touch, you see the background is blurred a, a slight bit less, but it is still blurred. We, we zoom out a bit more, the background is still blurred, but not much. So basically, the more you zoom out on optical zoom, the less the background is blurry. So if we zoom in like all the way, you see that? It's up close, and the background looks like just a green blob. We can actually zoom in more. We're still going. Oh, this camera zooms in really far, so we're go we're zooming in so far right now. All right, so this is almost the maximum that we can zoom in on this camera. You see how the background? We're so close in that the background is just a white, or, I mean a green blob. Because if we zoom out, you'll see that the background is not actually just a green blob; it is all this grass. So if we start gradually zooming out, like super slowly, you you guys will see. So I'm zooming out super slowly right now. You see everything comes into view. You see that stone right there? Right there, that white part, that is, uh, I don't even know what that is. Uh, we zoom out a bit further, we, you can guys see everything comes into play. So if we focus on another point, like right here, and then we start zooming in again, you'll see, okay, I'm zooming in super slowly to demonstrate this. So you'll see very slowly, everything comes in and the background gets blurrier and blurrier and blurrier as we keep zooming in. And eventually it'll just go out of focus because we zoomed in too far, which is another penalty of optical zoom. If you zoom in too far, see that? Eventually things will become out of focus. Then you have to zoom out and then zoom back in to make everything in focus again. So, yeah. And this camera also actually has digital zoom too, which is, I mean, it like switches between. So basically, you have, we have, this camera has 40 times optical zoom and 2,000 times digital zoom. So if we zoom in, uh, it's just slightly blurred. Actually, it's kind of blurred. Um, but basically, we can zoom in so much that it will turn into digital zoom. But um, most of this camera is optical zoom, uh, though. So if we switch over to another perspective here and we start zooming in again, you see that nice blurry background? It focuses on that one stick right there. You see that? That's so nice. And you see in the background, it looks like... Oh, check out that background, guys. Look at that. I'm still zooming in, guys. I'm zooming in super duper far. We're in digital zoom now, but the reason why on digital zoom I said... We're in digital zoom right now, but with digital zoom, remember how I said that it doesn't, like, blur the background? But it does. If you're coming from optical zoom to digital zoom, it does. So if we zoom out again, then you'll see the background becomes less blurrier and less blurrier and less blurrier as I zoom out super slowly. See that? See, now I'm kind of, uh, I'm pretty zoomed out now, and you see the background is still just slightly blurred, but if we just zoom right in, you'll see that the background is very blurred. Okay. And if we zoom, like, all the way out here, okay, it'll just focus on these here. Another cool thing you can do with optical zoom is usually with optical zoom, it zooms in super duper far. So that means what we can do is you can zoom through things. When things go out of focus, you can zoom through things just like here. So I don't know if I'll be able to demonstrate it, but I'm zooming through this leaf. It doesn't really work really well, but you guys can see through it. So see that leaf? That leaf right there you're looking at is actually through another leaf. So if I zoom out, you see that? 
pretty epic, right? So I could try to zoom in on, on another point over here. So I'm going to zoom in to this here. Like, right this point. So you'll see, the background is still blurred, even though we're not too focused up on it. You can see it's just the slightest amount of boring going on. But if we zoom in more, you guys will tell. Let's get out of focus. There we go. That, that's what I wanted. See that? Look how beautiful it is. So, I'd say if you guys are doing macro shooting, do not actually get right up close. If you have optical zoom, then you might just want to zoom in whatever you're looking at, okay? Because it'll make for much a much nicer picture than if you were to use digital zoom or if you were to get close up on it. So, that's kind of cool. So, if we zoom out just a bit, you still see the background is blurred. I like... The thing I like about this is if you zoom out just a, like like that much... Uh, the camera has a bit hard time picking it up, but hopefully it will pick it up. Camera, there it is. The thing I like to do is focus on one single thing. So you see this branch that you're looking at, guys? There's other branches in the background. If I turn the camera just a bit over there, see those other branches? And if we just go back over here, then you'll see, yeah, that branch. And we also have some branches over here. Alright, so yeah, uh, hopefully the camera will focus back on it, but still. Focus, camera, there we go, oh, okay. Right. So that's what I like to do if we zoom in so much. Guys, I'm zooming in, like, so much right now through the digital zoom. You see how it's getting, like, noisy? Like, it's getting really noisy right now. And by noisy, I mean, like, you see, like, all that grain in the image? And that's because of digital zoom right now. I'm gonna zoom right out. Or I'm zooming out now. It takes a little bit to zoom out on digital zoom. And the part where I and basically the part when it starts zooming out super duper fast is where optical zoom comes into like play. Pretty much. So I'm going to switch the camera back over here, and I'm going to see if I can zoom in on other things. Hold on, the tripod's coming a bit loose now. I'm going to try to tighten it up again. There we go. Alright guys, now I'm going to start zooming in again. I know it's super duper slow, but this is just a good demonstration about how optical zoom works again. You guys see? After I zoom in just a little bit, you'll see the, the, the single thing I'm trying to focus on, which is that plant right there. Actually, it's not coming into focus. The cool thing I actually like about optical zoom is manual focusing. Now, obviously, well, I'm, I can't show it here because I'm already recording, but, like, look at that. That just looks so great. And you guys might be asking, Matthew, you've shown us all these beautiful images that this camera can take. What is the camera? You guys are probably like... What images can this camera take? Well, I'll tell you. So, it is a Sony Handycam DCR SR45. Um, that's the camera that I'm currently recording on, and that is the camera that has been used to take all these macro shots. And macro shots is a word for shooting up close to something, whether you're taking a picture, um, or especially taking a picture, or you could be taking a video, but mostly macro shooting is. Uh, taking a video obviously when you see um, my face the background is not blurred because with this type of camera you have to zoom in you know you see that oh there's my eye you have to zoom in to whatever you're focusing on so it's obviously out of focus now but you get the point so that's pretty cool I'm gonna show you some more images all right flip the camera around and steady the tripod. Alright, there's our basketball goal. I think I'm going to zoom in on that. Now, the basketball goal is so far away from the camera that I'm not even sure that the camera will focus on it. But there's our basketball goal right there. I'm going to try to zoom in on the net and see if that works. And it did. Do you guys see the net? It's in focus. And that means optical zoom is doing a good job. Oh my god, the tripod is like not holding the camera pro properly, so I'm going to try to steady the tripod right now. Oh, 
Okay, so that that's a pretty good image. I should probably take note of. Guys, and I have zoomed in on this leaf here. But this leaf is like miles away from where I am at right now. So if you guys were looking at this leaf, you might think, oh, Matthew, just put the camera super close to a leaf, nothing special. But he's like, oh, how do you get the background blur? Because usually you have to zoom in to get the background to be blurred on any camera, usually. So if I start zooming out, you'll see, yeah, like even just touching the camera. I'm just touching the camera right now. You'll see how much it shakes it. And that is how much I'm zoomed in. This camera can go 40 times optical zoom and 2,000 times digital zoom. So you see that background there? If I just move the camera a little bit. You guys see that better? I know the image is kind of grainy. That's because it's super duper far away. But you see that image? I'm just going to try to zoom in a bit more. All right, I'm, this is the far furthest I've ever zoomed on this camera. See how grainy that image is? That's because of digital zoom has come into play. Look how bad digital zoom looks. So I'm going to try to zoom out now, guys. And you'll just see how far away it was, guys. Just, just look how far away I had to zoom in for that picture to become. Yeah. It was that far away. I'm going to zoom back in so you guys can see it again. That. That bush right there. I zoomed in all the way towards it. And it's out of focus now, of course, which is weird. But I zoomed in all the way towards that bush. And I can even look up. Oh, there's... Hey, guys, that's the white paint marker on our goal. You guys see if I zoom out a bit? See that? That's our goal. That that's That's what you guys were looking at. That's our goal. And it focused on it, guys. That's epic. This cameraman. It sounds like I'm saying that, that cameraman. All right, this, this leaf right here is another good example. If we just start zooming, you'll see the background becomes more and more and more and more blurry. I think there's holes in that leaf right there. Do you guys see that? There's holes in that leaf. Yeah, I'm zooming in even more. Look how grainy the image is, guys. You can't even make out anything by this point, but the image is so grainy, but if we, oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like rainbowish. We're that zoomed in. I'm going to zoom out now, guys. Look how far away that leaf was. See that leaf right there? Look at how far away it was, guys. I'm going to start zooming out. This is just seeing how far away it was for That's how far away it was. We're still zooming out, guys. Dang. Now, we're going to try to get some epic macro shots. One last shot, and then we're, I'm going to go inside and upload this video. So, I'm going to just point my camera towards, I don't know, the thorn bush. And let's start zooming in. Already you can tell the background is blurred. I don't know if it's going to focus on it, though. I don't think it will. You have to get it like on a big space. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a nice macro shot here, the guys. Look. Look. Do you guys see this? I'm still zooming. It's getting, like incredibly grainy and now it's out of fo no it's in focus i thought it was out of focus i've zoomed past it past it now but look okay do you guys even see it now there it is this is like super mega macro shooting right now guys hey there's the stick there it is so that this is how far away the stick was i'm gonna start zooming out now guys you're probably like hey matthew that's not impressive how far can you zoom out well Oh, we're on a different shot now. I didn't even realize. Well, anyways. Dang, guys, that tree's all the way over there. I could probably see someone's address from here. I'm not even joking. I, I mean, I can see their light. Their light looks nice, though. It's hanging by whatever that is. I can zoom in even more. Man. 
Guys, I'm gonna try to zoom in the maximum on this camera. This is not even the maximum it zooms in, guys. I believe we are at the maximum zoom level, and look how pixelated it is. Now, I'm gonna start zooming out now, guys, okay? There's a fly flying around me. I don't know if you guys can see it, because we're all the way zoomed in on this camera, but... Stop, fly. There's a stupid fly. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start zooming out now, guys. This is gonna take forever to zoom out, but that's just because I zoomed in all the way on this camera. You guys see that? Do you guys see that right now? Still going. It, it's like it seems like it's never gonna end on zooming out. And just for simulation again, guys, the thing that we zoomed in on, the thing that we zoomed in on was this light bulb's chain. Do you see that chain on the light bulb there, guys? That chain right there, that is what we zoomed into, and you guys can see it up close. But, man. Alright, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video about what optical zoom is. Smash a like. And subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.